with a new $16.7 million facility in town, Darwin and NT tennis fans are treated to a world-class tennis venue right in their backyard. The 21st of July 2018, Tennis Australia Former Australian tennis player Sam Groth travelled to the top end to officially open the state-of-the-art Darwin International Tennis Centre today alongside NT Minister for Tourism and Culture Lauren Moss, Tennis Australia Chief Operations Officer Tom Larner, Tennis NT President Avi De Silva AM and Tennis NT CEO Sam Gibson. The official opening coincided with an open day which saw more than 350 kids and adults visit the brand new venue to participate in an autograph and tennis session with Sam Groth, free tennis programs and many other activities such as ANZ tennis hotshots and Fitbit cardio tennis demonstrations. Construction for the $16.7 million project commenced in May 2017 with Halicos taking on the 220-employee project after collaborative funding of over $16 million from the Northern Territory government, and additional funding from Tennis Australia and Tennis NT. The facility was officially completed last month with the court surfacing and landscaping being the last stages. Northern Territory Minister for Tourism and Culture Lauren Moss believes the new facilities provide the NT with more opportunities to host large-scale events. The Darwin International Tennis Center looks absolutely amazing and it was an honor to officially declare it open today while inviting the community to experience it for themselves, said Ms. Moss. We can't wait to see center court full of spectators in the future with plans underway to secure more national and international tennis events to help boost tourism and stimulate the local economy. We know sporting events are a major trigger for attracting visitors to the territory, which is why we have invested $103 million in our turbocharging tourism initiatives, which includes more money for tourism marketing and event promotion to interstate and overseas holiday makers. Our events bring in millions of dollars to the local economy with visiting athletes, sports fans spending money on accommodation, shopping, meals, hospitality, and tours while they're here. Former world number 53 Sam Groth was on site to help with the official launch and boost the open day experience for fans. It's great to be back here in Darwin and to be able to support the official opening of this amazing venue. I have fond memories of playing Davis Cup here in 2015 and remember the fans up here were amazing. It's great to be able to see the transition of the facility up here, I remember playing on a purpose-built court in a parking lot just near here. Nothing as good as this. It really does set Darwin up as a place to hold more events like Davis and Fed Cup. Tennis Australia Chief Operations Officer Tom Larner believes new facilities are vital for future growth in the sport. A world-class facility like the Darwin International Tennis Center will bring major tennis events and tournaments to the NT. Situated so close to Asia, Darwin is a major gateway to the Asia-Pacific region and will attract more players from there. Larner said. Tennis NT CEO Sam Gibson was excited to unveil the new facility to the public. The Darwin International Tennis Center project has been a major collaborative effort between the NT government, Tennis NT and Tennis Australia and I'd like to thank everyone involved. I am honored to be able to open this state-of-the-art facility today and hope that it opens many doors to develop tennis as a whole in the region through grassroots participation, providing a hub for future stars and a becoming a platform to host global tennis events. Having a venue of this standard also opens a multitude of opportunities for the NT in securing future national, Asia-Pacific and international events right here in Darwin. Darwin International Tennis Center Fast Facts The Darwin International Tennis Center was a $16.7 million project with more than $16 million pledged by the NT government. Construction started for the project in May 2017 and completed in May 2018. The new Darwin International Tennis Center meets International Tennis Federation ITF standards and includes 16 ITF standard plexipave hard courts including
an undercover show court with seating for 505 purpose-built NZ Tennis Hot Shots courts. The venue is being managed by Tennis Australia's Tennis World, who will provide coaches and run programs. Additional facilities include the Tennis NT office, a clubhouse, office accommodation, conference rooms, a cafe and a large public parking space. The new centre has already hosted four national tournaments and two international tournaments. The Darwin International Tennis Centre Open Day took place on Saturday, the 21st of July from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. For a full program schedule at the new Darwin International Tennis Center visit net.au slash tennis world dash Darwin.